you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do-
you're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <sighs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the Wizarding World. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir.
almost there. privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. some kind. Mmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. <laughs> Hello? Last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus.
Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to Rebellion. discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. Come on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? Ah, the, the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Protego! Lumos!
Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. What you're seeing. Oh. 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 Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Phineas Nigellus. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. 
welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the... It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum? You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. Which way is the common room? Rebellion! Must be different, starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. A new fifth year. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. I can't imagine starting a new school this late. My little You'll like it, trust me. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. 
Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. She gets bolder every time we in trouble the first day. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? It is true. But I, uh, we handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. What exactly are the rumours about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Oh, perhaps I should. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protégé? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. 
I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting. Revelio. Going to harvest some knockgrass in the green pack. Did you know that it's used in polyjuice projects? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Rebellion. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding Lumos. lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it Revelio. and we'll see what the guide says. Rebellion. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Uh. 
No time to waste. You've classes to attend. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Bodega! You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms, and I'd like to... What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Uh, happily, you're judging... He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague. My suspicion is that there's... We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You see? Hmm. Perfectly good. I wouldn't say I'd. Very well. Enough. Might I rely on you, Professor? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Yes, Come and find, and we'll see if we can. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. 
Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well... The map is enchanted. Afraid of a stick? Whee! Revelio. Obviously, Hogwarts is the best. <laughs> Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. Simply cast Akio on one of Akio. the spheres and relinquish your... Very good! Happens to the best. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing... Excellent control there! That's it! Not to worry. Very good! But there's certainly no... the blues just as before and miss onai you are playing red clear yes sir let us see this Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. 
I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. We shall. Excellent control there. Let us see this. There we go. Perfect rounds. You're a natural. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu. My mother received it before I knew it. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagga. Ah, I... Until next... Of course, you rebellion to humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you need to on clothing to be precise, Bastion. You know it's A word, on if you would. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. You wanted to speak? I did. I... Well, an outdoor competition. What charm is there? You did well. Thank you, Professor. Miss Onai... <clears throat> Expect to hear from me soon. Re Rebellion! Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to... Some ma... Hope you... Uh, 
I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. Well, better see to my charms homework. I've always said then, that travel the broadens the mind. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> Rebellion. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Stupid! Stupid! Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. Good. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. This should be easy. <laughs> You're good. Now, perspective. Protego. Complicates things. Good form. I know. This can't be your first choice. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do. Jump in my queue. Can't be good at this, aren't you? Maybe you're so. If only all of my students were this adept. Watch your opponent decide to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. If what I've seen today is any indication, I... Under... Again. Well... All right. That's enough spectacle for one. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Didn't expect him. Then again. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, 
you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you'll go. Well, you just. Perhaps somewhere. Um, look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Till next time. Oh. I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Rebellion. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Let me know. Revelio. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Revelio.
Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Just wait till I've grown a bit. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Levioso. <laughs> Lumos. Akio. Revelio. Revelio. Never forget what that Uffle Puff girl said in fourteen twenty one. What? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professor's Hecate. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a... I'd wager there's a good deal. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Strela. In that regard, Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Mm. 
I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a bro... Hmm. It seems more frequently than... As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am... A number of your professors have agreed to do so as... I have arranged some for today. See them through and then... Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks... Such experience is... I'll start on the task right away. Rebellion. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover Terror. thought it too accurate and lashed out. Well, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for... 
Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at, but if you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why do we already name them? To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying! I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! A Demi guys! I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? 
She is, or rather, Akio. She's not well, again, but she'll be better soon and better. Honestly, Only if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How 
intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Ah, Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Hmm, a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed.
What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Revelio. Sir, I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Names? I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? <laughs> in addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. my young friend.
Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Impel. I'm sure I've no need to introduce... But I showed them their stuff. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking... Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? might be interested in Rebellion. Told you not to go down that path. Accurate. Well, I know you're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... Could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. wasted our time. Picture, as always. Rebellion. Action. Rebellion. Rebellion. Good thing the Ministry of 
An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Rebellion. Here. 
Rebellion. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Lumos. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. A second troll? Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. 
Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Oh, uh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer! <laughs> Rebellion! Off on another adventure, are we? Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. I insist. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more, but...
Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Rebellion. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? 
Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Rebellion. Rebellion. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient that Wonder how sharp injured his neck. I wait for something. a bit scruffy today, aren't we? You scoundrel! I do 
not to pay for all the cool things to be rewarded for that. Take a moment to allow our Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Rebellion. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it? Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio.
Nice to see you, my young friend. Rebellion. I believe we have some matches. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems Crossed Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Might some kind soul help me? Rebellion. I think so. We shall see who shows up. I know, Sebastian, I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. to get thrashed apologies in advance Gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. 
but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. It was only one page in a book. I never thought Rebellion. There are so many old books in the library. I'd say you'd be hard pressed to find one without a turn page. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back.
only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That n I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a... And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate- I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor? Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Let me also. Incendio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. 
I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously. Poor Susan is a This cannot possibly be. Is hello. This... I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this... If I know Hogwarts, and I do, and then... Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a pl If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that's That spot you. must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Why would anyone bother sending secret lovers? If you want to win me, I Just when I think I've learned how to get around the castle, a staircase moves and I'm lost again. Have you been in any other common rooms? Rebellion! This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Let me open. Akio. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Solve the puzzle of that empty frame. Professor Howell is carrying some power. I asked her if it was for love. Accio! Revelio! Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! Akio! I should have seen that! Revelio! Akio! Revelio! I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello.
Hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be an... You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I... Levioso. <laughs> Lumos. Accio. Incendio. I got it. Only four more to go. Rebellion. Accio. Let you say. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion!
Lumos. Revelios. Lumos. Rebellion. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Revelio. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Thank you. 
Rebellion. Lumos. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented uh. blue power. When you find a good opportunity, Revelio Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Not a day goes by I don't use something. Ah, come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise.
plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise.
Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Lumos! Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Accio! Revelio! Lumos.
Revelio. 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 Rebellion. Instantly. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Lumos.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Lumos. Akio. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion! Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Accio! Rebellion! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Why don't you go and see Nurse Blaney? Yes. We'll come with you. Not a chance. Last time I was in there, she'd spilled a bottle of Skelligro, and I swear I thought... Hello there. <coughs> Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her. I found two maps lying about, both lead. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it... Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map... 
I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Brother just started a hog war to the Griffin. Rebellion. Rebellion. My house broom will do me fine for a while, I'm sure. My parents keep promising me. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Rebellion.
Tiger. Revelio. I spend the entire day off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Someone gets struck by a cursed broom. We do have it. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small. Uh... You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello. I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, Mine, unfortunately, took the shape of a... a... puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me... Puffskeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Why is it a relief to finally have an arts restaurant? Revelio. Rebellion.
Incendio. Ravelli. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Rebellion. Let me open. Rebellion. Accio. Right. Let me open. Rebellion.
Repairer. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> Repair. I had 
some chat in here to go. That Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio. Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. This must be the entrance to the hidden apology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Rebellion. Uh, Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Huh. 
Rebellion. Lumos. Levios. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Revelio. Levioso. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Rebellio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Revelio.
Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Revelio. You can't Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Rebellion. I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to... You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I 
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop.
about. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunkin' for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. Thank you again, and have a good... 
Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Revelio. Closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well? Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know... Rebellion. What if anything. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've noticed... the minute. Rebellion. Oh dear, not sure what kind of look you call that. Lumos.
Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. My family has been sorted into races for generations. Bit of a bookish lot, one might say. Watch out, it's the Troll Slayer of Hogsmeade. Revelio. Levioso. Lumos. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. As a daily monkey, I wonder where it might lead me. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there?
Excellent. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Too well. And you know I like a good cauldron cake. Rascals, going without me. I had mentioned. Oh, that's even worse. I found you out. It was a spontaneous outing. We had intended to study, but then I really fancied something sweet. And did you go to Steep, please? Yes, and to see Serona. Revelio. to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I bet it unlocks our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize... Rebellion. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor. This seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. 